In this step of the mousetrap car, we are going to be attaching the front wheels and you'll be attaching them where you've already designed and drawn with a nice perpendicular line, straight line, where the front axle is going to go. The first step, you're going to bring it to me. I'm going to use this tool called an awl. It has a, a real sharp point, AWL, to make two starter holes on the axle line that you guys drew. So all I do is I line this up on the axle line and I push down just hard enough to put some starter holes in the piece of wood. You're going to get from me some materials at this point. You're going to get these things here called screw eyes. And they're very small. And we're going to use these to attach the axle to the car body. You're going to get an axle, metal axle, two wheels, and a straw, which we're going to use as a spacer. First part of this is going to be to screw the screw eyes into the two starter holes that I made for you. This is kind of a difficult step. It can be a little frustrating to do this. You line up the screw over where I put the starter hole and you push and you turn counterclockwise or clockwise so you're tightening so it's right. You push and you turn to the right and you'll feel the screw grab into the wood and you'll keep screwing this in. Then we also have to do the other one. So you're putting two screw eyes in Sometimes these can be a little tough. If they get really, really tough, you guys can come back to me and I can try putting a, a larger starter hole with my awl to make this a little easier for you to put in. But otherwise, it just takes some patience and trying it over and over again. So now I have my two screw eyes into this about equal space, equal amounts, so that they're, they're level this way. Next step is going to be to take my axle and a wheel and a hammer, a small hammer, and I'm going to gently tap the axle into the wheel so that it goes all the way in. Then I can slide my wheel in with my axle and I'm going to just dry fit this to make sure that it works. So I'm going to hammer the other wheel gently onto the axle making sure everything lines up. So you'll see that at this point right now, my wheels spin, but they also move left to right. And moving left to right is kind of a problem. We don't want that. So we have to use a material, a straw, to create a spacer on the inside of this. So I need a spacer that they're the same size on each side, a spacer here and a spacer here. So we're going to use the straw to do that. And I'm just going to eyeball this. Um, so that I, it, it's about equal and if you cut them too big you can always cut them smaller if you cut them too small I have plenty of extra straw so you need to open your straw I'm gonna just guess that seems about big enough so I'm, be careful not to cut yourself we're cutting a pretty small piece of straw here and I'm gonna cut both of my spacers at the same size to get them on, I have got to twist and pull my wheels to get them off because I can't have my I can't put them on with this on there. So I'm going to slide one side of the spacers on, put my axle through my screw eyes, put my other spacer on, make sure that I have enough room left over for my wheel to be attached, and then I can put my other wheel on. So when this is all done. I should have a set of wheels that spin freely and don't slide left to right very much. The next step here is to attach my back wheels, right where I said the back wheels were going to go on this axle, this axle line. Uh, uh, the steps are very similar to the front wheels with some differences, and I'll go over that in the next video.